Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome once again to my channel. Uh, this is also a quick one. I've noticed a trend amongst many guys and this trend has to do with their relationships with women. It's a very bad thing and I, I hope that if you fall into this category of men, you watch this video and you dump that bad habit once and for all. What's that bad habit? That bad habit is the one where whereby a guy is toasting a girl, trying to get to know her, trying to get to be with her, but she's not reciprocating that interest to the level that uh, the guy wants. And instead of this guy to just walk away and look for another girl, he begins to pester this particular girl, pester and pester, and he begins to, to make himself a pain in her neck. And you know, she's just making fun of him amongst her friends. You know, I've been with guys before, I've seen them call women in my presence or text women, and they're saying things like, you, I called you before, why didn't you pick up now? Uh, what, what, so you, do you mean you were that busy? Does that mean that you cannot pick my call? Mr. Man, if she was interested in you, she will return your call after she missed it. If she was interested in you, she will reply your text. If she was interested in you, if you didn't text her for a couple of days, she would, re she would text you to know how you are doing. You see, if somebody is interested in you, it's not a one-way street of you doing, doing, doing. Just know when to give up. Know when to count your losses and just move on. I've seen this many guys. The girl is not showing them any interest, but they are, they are thinking that the more they pester, the more they change their mind. Man, don't waste your time. As you are wasting your time waiting for her to text you or shouting at her that she didn't pick your call, she's talking to another guy and she's very happy to talk to him. In fact, she's talking to another guy that might not even be interested in talking, in replying to her. You understand? So you need to have a certain level of self-respect and don't don't uh, degrade yourself in this kind of in this kind of way. If you want somebody, let them know you want them. Be straightforward about it. Say what you want to, you want from them. If they're not ready to reciprocate it with you, it doesn't mean they're bad people. It just means that they're not into you the way you are into them. Forget about it. Move on. Don't be that guy that these girls take their phones amongst their their girlfriends and begin to show them, themselves the messages saying, "Look at this idiot. Look at this mumu guy." You know, don't be that kind of person. Be that guy that you know, has respect for himself, he tells the girl what he wants from her, he waits for her response, she's not interested, he counts his losses, he moves on. No time wasting. You go on to the next person. And I was, I was going to think of an example. Yes, I have an example in my mind. I have a friend, I met him in, uh, in Bonn. He's a Nigerian guy, he's also doing a PhD. And this guy is so clueless, you know. He was talking about a girl that he wanted to get married to in Nigeria, you know. And I was like, do you, do you really know this girl? And he was like, oh, no, you know, I don't really know her, but I met her once, yada, yada, yada. And then the next thing he told me was that he was trying to get in touch with her family to set up something. And the girl's family were like, they want the girl to study up to the MSc level before she thinks of marriage. And the guy was telling me something stupid. You know, he was telling me that, ah, this girl's parents, they don't even know what they are missing. They don't even know the kind of man that I am. You know, he's saying that he's, he's going to become a PhD holder and the family is missing out on, on this kind of quality guy, you know. And I was like, Mr. Man, all these things don't matter, you know. Your PhD, whatever it is, these things don't matter. You, this kind of men are the ones that try to use their status and their wealth and position to get a woman, you know. But I've realized in my own personal dealings with women, my personal experience with women is that the best relationships that I've had in my life are the ones where I just go into it with a lady, regardless who doesn't even know my status, who doesn't even know anything much about me, you know, whether I'm a PhD person or whether I have money or not, doesn't know anything, just likes me for who I am. And I'm sure many people can testify to this also. So if you're the kind of person who is pestering women when they are not interested in you, or you think you can use your resources to uh, blind them and, make, and convince them to be with you, man, you'll be in for a rough ride. A lady that comes to be with you for your resources, you know, when things go rough, she's going to bail. She's going to bail. I remember one girl I was talking to once, and we became very good friends. And so on a friendship level, I, I helped her out one or two occasions financially, you know. And I did this just because, out of kindness. Then later on, she was texting me a lot and wanted to, to like be in touch with me. And one day she asked me for money, you know. 
And I told her, you know what, this is uh, the virus period. It happened like a few weeks ago. This is the virus period. I don't have money to, to send to anybody, you know. She was, she's in Nigeria. I don't have money to send to anybody. And she was like, ah, ah, you can never give me money for Shawama. I'm like, she was like, Shawama is no money. Do you do any work to deserve Shawama money? You know, and I told her that, hey, madam, you were stuck one or two occasions and I sent you a total of about 10,000 Naira to sort yourself out. And the next thing she said was, ordinary 10,000. Ordinary 10,000. Is that why you are telling me this? Ordinary 10,000. And I was like, eh? Ordinary 10,000. If it's so ordinary, why didn't you produce it from your own pocket at that time? You know? And if I were to be one of these kind of guys, I would have, been, I would have seen that opportunity of giving her money back then as a chance to, to get with her. I'll use the fact that I have money to spend on her to attract her. And then she's going to turn into a kind of gold digger in my pocket, you know? And that's a problem. That's a problem. And now this is not restricted to guys, uh, to, to women only, you know. Not not women are, not all women are like this. We have gold diggers everywhere, amongst guys, amongst ladies. But I'm directing this video to guys, and that's why I'm speaking in this kind of way. So forget about it. Be uh, be straight. Don't, when somebody's not interested in you, just move on. Count your losses. Go on to the next person. And let people see you for who you truly are. And if they want to be with you, at that level they'll be with you stop uh forcing people and convincing them with your status or whatever it is that you have and stop pestering people stop disturbing the lady's phone when she's not interested in talking to you if she wants to talk to you believe me she'll text you if she wants to see you believe me she'll find a way to come and see you that's one thing i know about women in my in my, in my brief experience with women if your lady likes you if she's if she's in abuja and you're in lagos she find a way to calm down. If there's lockdown because of the virus, she find a way to come and see you. So if the lady is not making any effort in conversing with you or reciprocating your efforts, Mr. Man, count your losses and move on. And it doesn't mean you have to become hostile to the lady. It doesn't mean you have to become harsh to her. No. You maintain your kindness, but you just have no reason to keep in touch. But you, 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 you are still going to be kind to her if she needs your help. You are still going to be respectful to her. You are not going to say, oh, because you didn't give me that chance, you are, you are a bad person. All right, guys, that's the video for today, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Take care of yourselves. Subscribe and like the video.